for you already in the name of Jesus Christ may the grace that lifts may the grace that announces let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now you are welcome to believers global TV beloved in Christ I implore you not to miss this important message you are about to listen to it is not by accident that you are here on this channel right now I strongly believe that there is something God is about to do in your life through this teaching and that is why I encourage you to listen to the end Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 says let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your heart to the Lord today is a day of divine favor and testimony stay to the end don't go away God bless you creator of the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus creator of say creator of the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus Name above, say the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. So that those who have been asleep spiritually in terms of prayer, he said, awake thou that sleepest. Awake, awake, awake. Don't just wake your mind, your spirit man. Now I'm seeing that the devil has kept me down. In the next two or three minutes, I'd like you to just find a place and pray. Pray and generate power in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. The fervent, he says, effectual prayer of the righteous man availed much someone pray david's christian center pray pray to a more superior dimension of yourself pray and make decrees where are the watchers the men and the women of prayer Pray. Enough is enough. New season in my destiny. Someone is praying. Every chain that has held me. The Lord rebuke you. Ministry. I command that door. A father. Open. Yita and Tita. Lagos, be open unto me. Pray. He bakata bakatos koto pregete. He lekete bakatos yata. Pray. Pray. Decree and declare that thou mightest be justified. Please pray just a few minutes outside. Make sure you're praying. Those of you following online, engage in the spirit. Pray. Atmosphere, shift now. 
chains be broke, break down, Holy Spirit, come now, heaven open, heaven open, atmosphere, atmosphere, shift the climate over your life. Shift the climate over your ministry. Shift the climate over your family. Hebra katos koto brengete ya. Ekre kete le katos koto basia. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Acts chapter twelve. We are praying from verse one. My God, I sense such an anointing in this place. Acts chapter 12. Watch this. It says, now about that time, the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. Verse 2. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. Next verse. He said, and because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. These were the days of unliving bread. Verse 4. And when he had apprehended him, watch what he did to Peter. He put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending that by Easter, he can bring him forth to the people. Peter can be your favor. Peter can be your next level. Peter can be your influence. Trapped and kept. But, verse 5, read with me if you're a Christian. It says, therefore, Peter therefore was kept in prison. Go ahead and read. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Are you ready to pray? A prayer of release. Everything that has been tied down, I decree and declare, be released right now. Go ahead and pray. Shabakatakatoskia. Embrekete katos kadibasha, krata kata bakatos koto bakata, grante kete barakata. I declare jubilee, jubilee, jubilee over my destiny, jubilee over ministry. A season of the release in the name of Jesus. Outside pray. Shabakatabaratos Kotobash Krate Katusha Tigataba Lakosia Ebreketes Kotubash Katiba Lantoskia Krope Katosh Koteberente Katia In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, there is a grace I'm trusting God for that will come on someone's life. Let me show you that grace. We're still on that scripture, Acts chapter 12. The Bible says, verse 6, please listen carefully, that when Herod would have brought him forth the same night as he was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison uh -huh. it says behold the angel of the Lord came upon him and light shined in the prison and he smote Peter by the side and raised him up saying arise quickly and the chains fell off from his hand follow carefully and the angel said to him guard thyself and bind thy sandals so he did and he said unto him, cast thy garment about thee and follow me. In response to prayer, verse 9, may God open your eyes. And he went out and followed him. And wist not that it was true, which was done by the angel. He thought he was in a vision. Verse 10, he says they passed three kinds of gates. Let me teach you a mystery. There was the first gate that they passed. He was out of prison, but he was not yet free. They passed a second gate. He was far from oppression, but he was not yet enjoying liberty. The Bible says they came to a mysterious gate 
called the iron gate that leads to the city your city is your place of influence that there is a gate that the moment that gate is open the city must hear your voice listen to me i want to pray for you and i want you to pray first this gate you see has kept many people that there is an iron gate that opens when that gate opens your voice must be heard there are businessmen there are sincere preachers anointed and great but the iron gate still stops their visibility are you ready to pray he said he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder you're going to open your mouth that by the blood of the lamb the gates that must open for your visibility in 2022 command it to be open hither and thither go ahead and pray the iron gate Shabakatakatosia in ministry in business the gates of destiny that must be open so that those that were sent to your grace will know that you are there territorial iron gates financial iron gates ministerial iron gates a father be open a father be open a father be open hallelujah hallelujah let me give us one last scripture first thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 paul was speaking to the church in thessalonica and he shared with them a very deep mystery please read with me if you can see it projected ready one to read wherefore we would have come unto you even i paul once and again wherefore your favor would have reached you since last year wherefore it kept trying what you are looking for has also been looking for you but satan hindered us the helper of your destiny long instructed by god to come and hold your hand in ministry but satan please don't think you are wasting your time tonight satan he says i paul once and again i tried when you prayed it's not that god did not answer the man who would partner with the spirit to come to you satan hindered us the financial helpers that would have been sent by god to make the work easy for you it looks like god just left you destitute but satan are you about to declare now that in the name of jesus everything that stands as a hindrance to the helpers of your destiny and the virtues and the graces that must set you free to excel in 2022 in the name of jesus satan the lord rebuke you open your mouth and pray the hindrance is gone the lord rebuke you satan 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 hallelujah let me speak over your life our time is gone even so come yeshua come even so come and take your bride away how my soul 
longs to see your face, my Lord, even so, even so, come Yeshua, come. Hallelujah. Listen to me. God put it in the heart of your man of God and it will take God opening his heart for you to see every true shepherd desires the rising and the excelling of those committed to him. At the level that God has honored and lifted your man of God, most of his needs is not for himself again. Any genuine shepherd, there are pastors here, your greatest joy is not your personal excellence. It's to see that those who God has committed to you rise and become all that was in the mind of God for them. Hallelujah. I want to lend my voice and my faith with the angel over this house and speak over your life. Please, I want you to give your best. Do not miss tomorrow's session. You can connect by faith. And I want you to make sure that even after this conference, look for these videos and listen to them again. If you must buy it, buy it. Whatever you have to do, get it and sit down. You will be surprised that you have not gotten a major part of what was shared this night. There is the hearing that brings awareness, but there is the hearing that brings understanding. We have been commanded to bless and I want to bless you. To bless you means to empower you to excel. Amen. Amen. in your prayer life there are people here it was not like this with God something just happened perhaps the vicissitudes in life brought you down to a point where your prayer life has gone down in the name of Jesus I stand in partnership with Pastor Kingsley and we declare over you fresh fire upon your prayer altar help them please Kebrante kabrigete la katuskiata, grete kabarante skiata. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. The unction for discernment. I'm seeing the number 12. Let it come upon you right now. Take that grace. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, take that grace for discernment, supernatural discernment. In the name of Jesus. Hear me? Darkness from a distance looks like light. It takes discernment to know what is light. Let me speak over every closed door. By the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the privilege of priesthood, I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and I speak every door that has been closed over your life. In the name of Jesus, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and I speak over that door. Ephata, be open now. 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 By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open now. With understanding, you order the sea. 
Creating day and night, turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to your feet. Everyone ordained to lift your hands in this season. Help us of destiny. I don't know where they are, but I prophesy to the north. I speak to the south. I speak to the east and the west. Wherever the helpers of your destiny are, between now and the month of March, I command them to appear in your life. I command that they show up in your life. Let me speak over your finances. Don't say it does not matter. It does. It does. There is a prophetic dimension to wealth. By this time tomorrow, he said. What are you turning to wine? Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. Hey, not like you. Into the darkness you shine. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. Not like you. David's Christian Center. Your God is mighty. Our God is greater, our God is stronger, God, you are higher. Lord, you are higher than any, our God is real, awesome and powerful. power, Hear me, please listen, I'm wrapping up. When it has to do with the subject of supplies and abundance, there is a place for value and productivity. There is a place for relationships and all of these factors. But in the kingdom, we are not left without an advantage. There is the prophetic dimension to wealth and abundance. It says, believe in the Lord your God. So shall you be established. Believe his prophets. Believe his prophets. So shall you prosper. Herein lies the pride of our world today. I know that the prophetic has been abused. There are imbalances here and there. But within the boundary of accuracy and the boundary of scripture, the prophetic can work wonders. I want to pray over someone. You will marvel and wonder at what God does in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I call upon the God of my covenant. That between now and the next 90 days according to the mystery of the ark of god in the house of obed edom standing in faith with your man of god in the name of jesus by the privilege of this election of grace i speak to your finances experience strange favor strange favor supernatural abundance in the name of Jesus I compel men and systems and structures I command them to respond favorably Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty I forbid emptiness from your life. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. The B part says, And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Not some, all. I pray for you. Anyone who looks upon you from tonight, may that glory that is upon you compel them to stand by you to help you.
let me specially pray for all those who have stood by the man of God in prayers in love in support in partnership I pray for you in the name of Jesus God is not a fraudster God is not a scammer I stand in faith with him and I declare my God the God of this vision and this commission may he supply your needs according to his riches in glory even by Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus you will get jobs you did not apply for people who have forgotten you I open the book of remembrance for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you finally the grace for speed that God would take 10 years and put it in one month for you believe it believe it and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab I speak to ministries here I speak to businesses here in the name of the Lord God who called me I prophesy to you in one month receive the result of five years Thank you for staying to the end of this message. But before you leave, I want to tell you a story. There was a father who has two sons. And so he sent two of his sons to the farm, like to go and harvest yam. So he called them both and sent them. The elderly one says he is going to go, that he is going to like go on the errands but the younger one says he's not going to go and so they left the presence of the man and behold the one that says he will go to the farm does not actually went but the one who says he was not going to go at a point he thought within himself and said my father has been very responsible for me so i will go so he changed his mind and went so i want to ask among these two sons who actually does the will of the father it is the younger one so as you have listened to this message it's not about listening alone if you're listening and probably you feel stirred up but later on the zeal the passion that you had when you were listening to this message dies and you do not apply this message, it means the time that you dedicated listening to, them, to this message was a waste. So it is not about what you share alone. It's not about the messages that you listen to alone. It is more of what you take out of th those messages and then apply to your daily lives to make you um, better. So I do hope and I pray that this message will transform your life, will turn your life around.